Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to teach your gymnast how to do a handspring on the floor. So the first thing that we want to do is check the gymnast's understanding of a good handstand shape. If you don't know how to correct the gymnast's handstand shape, please make sure to check out our handstand video. So Declan's gonna show us now what the handstand should look like. So as you can see here, his arms are completely open, which means that they're straight. His body's in a nice straight position, his ears are covered, and he's got a nice rounded back here with open hips. So once we know that Declan can do this, we know that he's ready to do a good handspring and move on to the harder progressions. So now that we know the gymnast is confident and understands a correct handstand shape, it's time to start teaching them the blocking phase of the handstand and the handspring. So what we're gonna do is get Declan to start with his arms up. He's gonna do a big lunge forwards, push off his hands, and he lands in a nice straight handstand position with open shoulders, ready to do a very good flighted handspring. So when teaching the gymnast to do handstand hops, this can be quite a hard skill. It's a really good idea to start practicing these in your conditioning and building the gymnasts up in their confidence to have straight arms and block correctly. So a great way to build this up, build their confidence, awareness, and their muscles up, is to use a trampoline or a trampette and do front support bounces. So as you can see, Declan's got his feet lower, which makes this easier. His ears are covered and he's pushing through with straight arms and blocking off his arms. Once the gymnast is confident doing this with their feet lower, it's time to raise their feet and make it a little bit higher. So they're going closer towards a handstand whilst doing this exercise. So as the gymnasts get more confident in this position, they are able to do this in a handstand. If you've got a trampoline at your gym, you can use a trampoline. They will struggle to do this to start with. They might only be able to do one or two hops, but eventually they will be able to build up to doing 10, 20 or 30 bounces in a handstand at once. Declan's gonna show us some today using an air track. So it's not gonna be as good as if he was on a trampoline. However, this will give you a good understanding of what the exercise should look like and the gymnast can progress this onto a different surface like the air track once they're more confident. You can also support a handstand hop with your gymnast when they're doing this for the first time. So we're gonna show you how to support this now. You can use all three of these and it will vary depending on the level of your gymnast and the size of your gymnast as well as how prepared they are in the skill. So when you stand behind the gymnast and you grab their back, this is gonna help them understand how to block and you can assist them in getting a little bit of a higher block. When the gymnast is first starting out, it is always best to either hold their shoulder and their leg and then progress on to holding their belly and their back. And then you know that you've got the gymnast in the early stages when they're first learning how to do a handstand hop. So the gymnast is now confident doing handstand hops and we, we know that they can do a good handstand shape. We want to start getting the gymnast to understand going over the top now, ready to do their handsprings. So we're going to start off by doing a handstand flat back. So Declan's going to demonstrate what this looks like. So as you can see, when he lands, he's still looking at his hands, his hips should be up and he lands heels first. So you're going to demonstrate that again. Once the gymnast is able to do this from a step, we wanna start encouraging them to have a bit of flight and block off their hands. So Declan's gonna show us what this will look like now. So the next exercise I like to do with the gymnast to check they understand the correct shape is to go over an arch or a roller or a Pac-Man, whichever you've got in your gym. And today we're just gonna use a soft round block. So what we want the gymnast to do is to kick to handstand and let their heels go over the top, staying in an arch shape and looking at their hands. We're not looking to get the gymnast to stand up on this, we're just checking their shaping before we support them. The deck will show us what this should look like. So now the gymnast understands how to do the correct shape, it's time to get them to do a handspring off a higher block which is gonna make it easier for them to land their handspring. We're gonna do this supported and show you a few supports you can use your gymnast now. So 
So we've just shown you a few different supports that you can use with your gymnasts. So when we're holding the gymnast by the belly and the back, this is a great way to help those gymnasts that aren't very confident and you can hold them throughout the entire exercise. Once the gymnast gets more confident, you can hold their belly and their back and then grab their arm at the end to ensure they're finishing with their arms up in the correct positioning. You've got another exercise where he's gonna catch them on the other side, where he'll grab their hips on the, uh, the second half of the handspring. This is a great way to help the gymnasts that are nearly doing a handspring by themselves, and you can just shadow them and help them with the second part of the handspring. So when we do a handspring, it's very important to teach the gymnasts how they need to land. This is very different to how we would usually land, which looks like this. So if we land like this from a handspring, the gymnast is gonna fall backwards and fall onto their bottom, and then they're not gonna be able to land their handspring or move on to any other skills afterwards. So what we need to do is to teach a gymnast that to land a handspring, they need to have their arms up, their head up, they need to be on their toes, their hips pushed forwards, ready to move into the next skill after they've done this. So a great way to check the understanding with the gymnasts is to get them to stand with their arms up, their hips forwards, and to fall forwards onto a crash mat. So getting the gymnasts to fall forwards and land on their bellies is a great way to build up their confidence and check that the gymnasts understand the correct shape they should be in when doing their handspring. So once you've been supporting the gymnasts and you're only shadowing them and they've managed to do this on their own, it's time to start letting the gymnasts have a go on their own. Something that we do to help the gymnasts feel more confident is to put a block in place that's nice and soft so if they do fall backwards, they're not gonna hurt themselves and they can be confident to be doing the correct shapes. So I'm gonna hold the block now. Dex is gonna demonstrate what it'd look like if he was to fall backwards. So as you can see, he, this way, he's managed to maintain the correct shape and he's not hurt himself whilst having to go at handspring on his own. So once the gymnast is able to do this and land backwards, when they get more confident, they'll be able to start landing on their feet doing a correct handspring. So once the gymnast is confident doing their handsprings, what we can do is put together the falling forwards and the handspring together. So we're encouraging the gymnast to hold their shape and get ready to add another skill on after doing their handsprings. So Declan's gonna show us how this looks. So once the gymnast is confident doing this off a lower surface, our rule is always three in a row and they're ready to move on. If they don't make three, then they should go back to the progression beforehand. So the next thing that we would do is to add another mat. This is gonna help the gymnast stay in the same place, so they're not gonna change anything. This is gonna keep them consistent. Putting another soft mat on top, so if they do land a little bit short, they can sink into the floor and land. And this is gonna help the gymnast start to build their confidence up before we take them onto the floor. So the gymnasts now are able to do this from a step. We'd always encourage to start the gymnast off doing this from one step, so they have to do correct technique before we add a run. We're now gonna add them into doing a run and a skip step. If you don't know how to teach this, please make sure to check out our lunge and skip step tutorials, where we go over in detail how to build this up. But Declan's now gonna add a run up, so if we watch this now, he'll show you what it's gonna look like from a run. So now the gymnast is landing these consistently onto a soft mat on the blocks. It's time to start getting them to do this off a springboard on the floor, landing on a firmer surface. So we've now got a small thin mat on the floor, landed on a firmer surface, so they start to get used to the impact of the landing. So Declan's gonna show us what this looks like. When they're first doing this, I'd suggest supporting it first. Some common things you want to watch out for when doing a handspring are then putting their hands too close to their feet. This is going to restrict them pushing off their legs and getting a good block in their handspring. It's also to look for them not joining their legs together and snapping them as they do their handstand hop. I'm going to show you what this will look like now. Another two common mistakes you're likely to see when the gymnasts first start learning this are doing kicking the legs over in a bent leg shape like they're gonna do a landing as if they were doing a backwards tumble or landing from a height, as well as doing a handstand into a bridge so not blocking off their hands. So Declan will show us what both of these look like now. So once the gymnast is confident doing it off a springboard now on the floor, it's time to start teaching them to do it from 
the floor just using the soft mat. So we'd always use the soft mat to start with to help them understand the impact. Once they're ready for this, it's time to let them have a go from the floor back onto the floor again. So Declan's gonna show us a few variations of this now, building up the handspring from the springboard all the way to the floor. So I hope that these exercises and progressions have helped you understand how to teach a handspring to your gymnast on the floor.